Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the state of San Andreas. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Village 55 video with myself. Uh, we are going to be starting a uh, briefing very soon, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. We have an operation that's due to be planned, I believe, hence why Briggs is in SIU gear. But um, yeah, we'll see what uh, we have to go with today. I believe we're running off episode 53 or 54 today, so yeah, should be interesting. Let's get into it, guys. <laughs> Alright, are we all good? Yes, sir. Cool. I am if you're am. Awesome. Right. I'll be real. Who's leading this briefing? Because there's apparently some sort of operation going on, which I have no clue about. So I'm interested to we hear it just as much as you are. Yes. There is an operation, but if you want to go through general briefing stuff first, then we'll start talking about the operation. Yeah. Okay, then. All right. Um, all right. Hello, everyone. Uh, good to see you. General, uh, good turnout today. I think we might need to change rooms to the meeting room in the future. Uh, seeing some new faces here, so welcome to those that are uh, new to uh, the department, or namely the LSSD at the minute. Um, right, we had a couple of incidents last shift um, regarding a uh, Mr. Esteban Camp. Um, there is going to be an intelligence, or sorry, an incident report uh, put on him from myself in due time uh, regarding some sort of intelligence that he was interviewed about. Um, but... If you hear of a man by the name of Liam Skitt, please treat him with caution because he does have um, a mental health condition we're thinking multiple personality disorder or some form of that. We're still waiting to hear back from the psyche valve from Pillbox Medical regarding Mr. Skitt. Um, he attempted to brandish a firearm on myself and Frost at the Zero gas station last shift and was subsequently tasered and taken into custody. Um, his alternate personality at the minute, we believe he is identifying as Snake, which is someone that Mr. Camp uh, named in an interview when his vehicle was found abandoned um, underneath the bridge at Calafia Road. Okay, um, Snake slash Liam Skitt. Uh, Liam Skitt is generally cooperative, however the personality Snake uh, is very confrontational to say the least. Um, does try and intimidate you quite well, so please keep on guard for that. If you do feel uh, it necessary, then obviously go ahead and uh, handcuff, use handcuffs or any sort of restraints you deem necessary when dealing with that individual. Um, other than that, I'm going to pass it to the floor now. Uh, Sheriff Itar, I'll let you go on from there. Alright, give me a second here. Hello, what the hell? All right, uh, I'd like to introduce uh, newest deputy uh, recruit, uh, Pengu, over here. He's the one currently looking at a street map. <laughs> Hi, Pengu. Welcome. Uh, I don't really have anything to add to what happened last uh, last shift or shift before last. Um, I kind of came in at the tail end of it, but... Uh, it seems that, uh, at least for the moment, most Leos now have a target on their back. So uh, try to keep up on your radio comms. Uh, keep them short and to the point uh, so we know where you're at at all times. Um, just don't, like, randomly get out of your vehicle and, on a traffic stop and not tell somebody. Uh, other than that, I think that's about it. Pass it on to the next one. Uh, Lieutenant Thomas. No, I don't really have anything. Lieutenant? Yeah. What? Yeah. Whose desk did you crawl underneath? 
Oh, mate, honestly, you put some brass on his col on his collar and he starts walking about acting like he owns the place. <laughs> he starts walking like Riker with a stick up his ass. Something hey, like that. yo. Wow. <laughs> I'm not that bad. <laughs> right. I worked for him before. I'm good. Oh, same. It's Oof. not fun. <laughs> right. Uh, first Sergeant Briggs, would you want to keep it pushing right. for the operation? Keep pushing. I'll go last. All right. Staff Sergeant. Um, with Briggs, I'll go last on this one. Okay, dogs. Right, passing it to the floor. Anyone got anything they want to bring up? Um, yeah, go ahead, Jay. Uh, do we have an update on uh, Deputy uh, Briggs? Hey, Laura. Yes. Hi, Tao. Uh, as far as I know, she's still at home resting. Uh, I don't know if, well... I don't know. Has she been released at Briggs? Do you know? I haven't talked to her or Adam, to be honest with you, so I don't know. I'll get with Chief Briggs on it. Yeah, yeah I'll get resting. with Chief Briggs on it for you, G, and I'll let you know. All right. As far as I'm aware, she spent the night in... She spent that night in hospital as I was assisting Briggs with family endeavors. Okay. Um, Sam, what did you have? Um, well, first off, welcome back to the first surgeon. Um, after his injury. Mm, thank and, you. And um, after the operation has happened, you will have myself, I believe, uh, 149 remaining as traffic, and I, I'm planning to be on a motor 1012 with the new traffic deputy standing by me. Okay, happy days. So if you need us, give us a shout. <laughs> Yeah, no worries. All right, Briggs, the floor is yours. All right. We'll give you guys just a little bit of a background here, and then uh, uh, Frost and I will kind of break down exactly how we're going to work this here. All right, so this uh, operation that we're going to be doing tonight involves an Antonio Carter um some of you might recognize that name. He is in custody. He is in Bolingbroke right now on multiple charges of uh, multiple gun charges at this point. Huh. Antonio Carter um, was actually uh, shot several times by an off duty deputy. Um, the Sheriff Hightower actually found Mr. Carter crawling behind the 24 7 down in Davis. Uh, he was placed under arrest, taken to the hospital, treated, transported to Bolingbroke. Um, long, very long story short, um, Lieutenant Briggs was out with a, a female subject um, on some, I'm guessing, some sort of mental health issue. Um, she then gave us um, direction and had us follow her to an apartment. Over at uh, 9048, um, where she allowed us inside the inside the home, and we found a plethora of guns in there. Um, we left them alone. We didn't touch them. That's not what we were actually there for. So off the tip, we uh, I, I put in for a search and seizure warrant. Um, and it's been actually signed and approved by, uh, I believe it was Sheriff Hightower actually uh, approved and signed it. Um, and today we're going to execute that warrant. Reason is going in, the, in as a tack, it's tack situation, primarily because of its location. Um, second to Antonio Carter being a full fledged member of Familias. Um, <clears throat> that being said, um, Staff Sergeant Frost is heading up the the TAC um, portion of this, of the entry of, of the apartment. Um, any arrest made in all items that are seized will come to me for inventory um, so that I can keep this... Uh, investigation going with that being said it all come down to 
some guns that were painted blue to look like uh, pepper ball guns. That being said, we want to get those off the street. At least the ones that are um, actual firearms. We want to get them off the streets. Hoping we can find the ringleader to this and put an end to people getting shot mistakenly. Um... You'll see a map up behind me, and I'll let Frost uh, take over from here on the tech um, side of things. All right. First of all, fire, you guys are going to be staged up at the Dollar Pills parking lot area because we yes, want sir. you guys put buildings in between you compared to having you, let's say, in the Mega Mall. There's still people from the families that could look at you guys and go, oh, there must be with the cops and start shooting at them. So... <laughs> We're going to move you guys a bit away further over towards the dollar pills. Um, on top of that, uh, due to the area that this is in, we're going to be running... Uh, everyone's going to be wearing masks on top of tack helmets and play carriers. Um, and if we're going to try... And if possible, we can, we're going to try and limit the amount of uh, names that are going to be used in this as well due to... Again, the area of it's being in, someone catches wind of your name later on down the line. They hear your name again. Uh, if you pull them over or something, they can just end up shooting you. So, we're going to try and limit the amount of names that are being said here. We got, uh, I got Lieutenant Thomas over there. He's going to be set up as a CRE unit at a bit of a distance, but watching a possible exit point should anyone be inside the apartment when we raid it. Uh, we're going to need form drive traffic control if I can get anyone who isn't fully sort of tax certified to uh, get a hold of that and maybe watch the alleyway please as well for us. Yeah, you're gonna have behind that area. If I can, um, you're gonna have Sam and Stevens on traffic control for you, Frost. So. Yeah. Um, as well as that, uh, you will have multiple armored vehicles and support vehicles moving into that area as well uh, mainly blocking providing as a armored barrier for anyone else who's watching the perimeter with anyone who isn't going to be a part of the entry team um hi tower do you have your seb gear yeah uh, what i got is what i got right now still waiting okay. for the, uh, the other stuff to come in the mail okay do you want me to um, grab you a mask, high tower at least? Or I have. Well, I, said, I'm I have. Say, I'm, um, I'm gonna hang back because I'm still injured. So. Okay, yeah. No, that even 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 if you're injured, everyone's going to be wearing masks, high tower, just because of where it is. So I. I think they know my face by now. Eh, just to be on the safer side. Squeaker four is on the parking lot for anyone who needs play carriers, helmets, masks, or anything like that. It's full of them. <laughs> um. Go ahead and just grab what you need. Uh, we'll have BCSO's armored unit along with two of DPS's armored units rolling down that way. Yeah, we can, I'm about that, um, Frost. Yeah, we'll work on that in a second. Oh, okay, uh, I, I'm, I am aware. Cool. <laughs> Don't worry. No, that's all right. Um, if I can get one of them in the alleyway blocking the back entrance, one on the, leave us the east side of the building, Briggs, where that glass window is. Hey, what's the puzzle we're going to do? Is it nine? Briggs, you have the paperwork there. I believe it's, what, 9085? Give me a second. Double check him. 9085. Yeah. So the warrant covers the entire postal, but the only en apartment where you're allowed to make entry to is the one that the entry team is going to be designated to enter. 9084, um, 9085, one of those two. It should be the one... I don't know, it's the last one towards Maze Bank Arena. Mm -hmm. um, so, there's going to be a ground floor apartment, there's going to be a uh, a um, glass sliding door exit way uh, on the alleyway side of, on the side alley of the building, where there's like a parking lot next to it. We're going to have one of the armored trucks there if we can. Uh, with someone possibly watching that, as well as uh, someone in the with another armored truck in the back alley where the uh, basketball courts are blocking that way, and then one in the front on the forum drive side. 
essentially what he's saying there's three entrances to this apartment mm -hmm. but two of them actually go like into like a courtyard in the center the apartment door is to the south side facing north with his um <clears throat> excuse me facing north to the courtyard sliding door facing south towards maze bank arena So we'll need all three of those entrances blocked by uh, armored units. Um, anybody in the area gets detained. That's another thing as well. If anyone is inside of the apartment complex or anyone leaves the apartment com complex, try your best to detain them or seduce them or, you know, try and seduce them anyway. <laughs> seduce Shut them. up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right. What kind of warrant is this? I don't know. I'm not the, I'm not the one who signed, uh, who filed it. He is. Um, I didn't put seduce in the warrant. <laughs> uh, you, you sure? Oh, well, maybe. I would have signed it if you did. <laughs> Hang on, remind me what, what type... Right. Hang on, remind me what type of search warrant is this? I don't know, Asperg's. <laughs> Sexual assault. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so as I was saying, everyone just needs to mask up and grab a helmet if uh, if possible. Um, there's tan and uh, just regular black ones inside Squeaker Four. Shouldn't people Happy. need to grab them? So. Happy days. Other than that, I don't I don't have anything else. Let's try and. Uh, Get this done without anyone getting it and getting injured this time. All right. Yeah, let's uh, gear up and then we'll mount up and we're ready to roll. I guess. Yeah. Yep. Real quick, what's uh, what's the crack of the vehicles then for us? Uh, because started out in the parking lot. I think I well, I know the issue with two of them. Yeah, they've been recalled at the minute, but we've uh, got. But Sam has um... Sam has made me aware that you have an MRAP and a intruder, uh, uh, or whatever you call it. We've got an MRAP. That's, I mean, that what we, yeah, yeah, what we can do, though, like nine seats in. right, hold on, what we can That's do, all... what we can do is we've got Dreadnought, which we can take out, I can take out Screamer 1 as a support vehicle if needed as well, because that'll well, I, sit for, right so. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine, if we can okay. just get that on the side that's all being overwatched by the Sierra unit then. Yeah, alright. Briggs, I'll, I'll use meet in the back parking lot. Yeah, all right, Briggs, yep. I'll grab Screamer if you're happy to uh, drive Dreadnought. For yeah, room to control, what do, you, what do yep. you need us? Do you need a any marked, unmarked? Do you need a prisoner transport van? What do you need us grab? Uh, yeah, I've got everything set up for the most part. Okay. Squeaker. Oh, we're on uh, LS uh, dispatch. L LS County, I believe. Hold on. X ray one can everyone but fire in the Sierra unit meet in the park parking lot. Yes, I see. I see that now. <laughs> I see. I see the unit you're talking about now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. No, that'll work. Um, yeah. Do you want to scream one get... as well, or we might as well, mate, because if I mean the entry team is probably going to end up having to consist of me, you, and unfortunately, on I know Briggs is still recover, just out of recovery from injury, but we don't have any other armored personnel. 
Ah, oh, shit. That's what I'm trying to say, because my other, my only other person that, that was in, that was currently here is Sierra Activation. Well, do you want... What I'm thinking then is if you want, we can get a couple of deputies to follow in, or, or us three go in first as the main reaction. If, oh, uh, no, so... Get a five, five or something like that happen. Yeah. That's, that was the plan. Who's getting a phone call? Good question. Not mine. Fire no, no, no. I know Stevens is on the phone. Yeah, that's probably it then. Oh, it's those two talking. Um, right. yeah, we can um, get... Screamer has some form of armor plating on it, correct? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, grab, grab Screamer, then. Okay. Jesus, I'm struggling to talk. Yeah. Um, um in terms of the entry yourself. team... In terms of shut the up! In terms of the entry team, guys, um... Is it worth just having a couple of deputies with long guns and, like, rifles or pistols or whatever? Help us in searching. Yeah, if we can, we mm -hmm. can just bring, uh, we can bring, um, Hightower and his new guy in, in with us, because they're riding yeah. as a 1012 anyway. Okay, uh, that here's, works. Here's the, here's the biggest thing, once we kick the door in, we clear the apartment, then it's down to searching every nook and cranny, breaking out walls, whatever it takes, that's to fine. find every weapon that's in there. Um, I'll, um, and, and actually it's not just weapons, it's a general, general search one, and seizure, so if there's drugs, money, Smith. whatever. Yeah, I'll let you two work away at that, because as soon as that's, um... Yeah. As soon as that's over, I'm going. As soon as we make entry, we cleared it. I'm going to head outside and start securing out there. Yeah, because of the lack of. I'm not we're expecting have. major resistance, but okay. we don't know. So. And don't worry, Shield, Squeaker, and Titan will be out of your parking lots after this. They'll just yeah, be going good. straight back up to the county. Same. That's all right. Right. Now I think we should be good. All right. Yep. All right. All right. Everything all good, Briggs? He was asking what unit he should yeah. bring. I'm still working. Hey, guys. Okay. Uh, okay. Do do with my car? It's out front. I have you. Um. Right. So if. Right. So. Shield. Who out of <laughs> your two trooper? Are they both rifle certified or whatever else? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, Sam and Steve are both rifle certified. Medic 5 shows at stage and location. Um... Damn, Medic 5's on roll. Grim, grab a TAC helmet from Squeaker. Uh, traffic units do the same. Okay, well I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, Steve, you got a, you got a ballistic helmet. Uh, no. You might want to grab one from Squeaker yeah. then. Grab one from Squeaker. Yeah, I'm going to be an active battle one with 300, known as car 300, with the 10 6. Alright, and you got me in that? Yes, please, mate. Okay. Who the. Sal, so you're you you're going to go. Uh, yes, why? Why the fuck have you parked it backwards the way it needs to go out? Uh, Dreadnought doesn't have the turning circle of a smart car, mate. I disagree. I disagree. Dreadnought has the turning circle of a smart car. <sighs> Alright, uh... That was also the only free spot at that point. Alright, really hang on. Grab a tack helmet. Pingu. Oh. Blah, blah, blah. Grab it from the utility, yep. Yeah, no, no one, no one goes in here without a at least a helmet on. Yeah. All right. That'll do, Stevens. Uh, right. So the way it'll work is the two traffic units will be in front. Then uh, the armored units, including Screamer, and then LSSD and yourself, Grim, be him behind. Okay, so I'll be yeah, far back. Yeah, where's, where's LSSD staging up at? 
Uh, right, so with the LSSD, you guys are going to follow us into that courtyard area of the, uh, of the apartment block, because there's other apartments other than the one that we're going raiding inside there, and people could come out of any one of them. So, I won't be entering the apartment myself, I'll stay outside with you guys, but we're going to, I'm going to need more than just myself inside that courtyard, securing right. it, because there's a second tier as well of that apartment there's uh, uh another deck all right well, whichever not? vehicle is going to be entering oh. what the fuck is that amber alert yeah right. sorry my cell phone you're good anyway um, just just for I'll be right following now whoever in my granger so yeah so uh, the way we'll probably work that high tower is we'll have Grim behind you and you behind Screaker or Dreadnought, whichever one comes last. Alright. Alright. What's the so what's the convoy gonna be? Is it gonna be Squeak, uh, Dreadnought, Screamer, and then the No, Ranger Squeaker's or? not Squeaker's not coming because um we don't have someone to bring it. It'll be right, okay. the bear cat behind it. Okay, that's fine. Um, right. so it'll be the two traffic units. Titan, with, uh, Dreadnought, Squeaker, LSSD, and then the Hellcat, and then Grim. Okay, where does Screamer fit in all of that? <laughs> I just said Screamer! I thought That's you said Squeaker. squeaker. Oh, then I, God damn it. Well, well, right. Do you want me to, where, do you want me to throw Squeaker in back rattle in the off. Rattle it off one more time. The two traffic units. Yeah. Titan. Okay, two traffic units, they're blocking the forum drive side, right? Yep, then the okay. Titan, Titan Bearcat. is going yeah. where? Uh, behind that's the going to the front. That's going That's going to the front of the apartment block, so that'll follow, so that'll be... Um, that'll the, follow traffic units, okay. Yeah. The MRAP will follow MRAP. then behind Titan. It'll take okay. the alleyway between uh, 9085 and 9086 to get to the back. And then Squeaker will follow behind the MRAP Screamer. and block. Screamer. Screamer, father fucker! <laughs> mm. Yeah, go on. I need to fucking get rid of this truck behind me. Yeah, um, I'll get rid of it for you. And then that needs to go on in in that alleyway blocking that parking lot should anyone exit out of there. I know we have a Sierra unit watching it, but it'd be nice to have someone at least yeah. somewhat close to it. I could fit Screamer down there, it's not an issue. All right, um, and once those are parked in their place, we bail all three sides coming into the apartment. Yep. Yep. So Back. I, I'll put into some GPSs on where I want some people because yep. uh, the traffic units. You, you guys need GPS where you guys are, right? All right. Um, um, preferably, yeah. Just right, to be sure yeah. we got where you need us. Just a quick one as well. Mm. Who's, where's, um, who's the LSSD Granger going to be following? Uh, Screamer. That's second to last. So okay. Following you, and then, and then, following them. And then, yeah, then Grim is at the back be, again with a uh, marked. Basically, what I'm trying to do is marked unit in the front, okay. marked unit in the back. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Happy. Right. Go make sure all your trucks are in order. I'm going to start inputting GPS in GPSs for people. Happy. Yeah. Right, Sam. Which one's your car? And I'll put it in. Uh, this one, buddy. Rate one to anyone who needs fuel, go get it now, and then return back to the parking lot. Traffic units, go ahead and start getting set up. Twenty-one, you're clear. Go. Be advised, we're mobilizing from 
station in Rome. One forty-four to forty-one. I'm backing off this a little bit. The uh, traffic here is guys recalculating GPS on. Zero one, is there any movement? Attack command zero one, be advised, we can't hear you. All units, all units, code, code two, code two, such sirens off. I got no movement. Ten four. So 1214 drive south closed. Stream 1's moving into position. MRAP in position. Stream 1's in position. Code zero, three hundred. One oh one and forty four, if I could have you two approach in from the back side, myself and the LSD units are gonna approach in from the front. One oh one good copy. Forty four copy. Alright, I'm with you, mate. Alright, moving in. Hang on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just, just wait for Frost's command first. Oh, I was just going into the gate. Uh. Because we got a wall both sides. Okay. Yeah. I'll just hold back for now. Rear side entry team, are you guys in position ready to go? Yeah, we're stacked up, ready. Hey, firm, go ahead and enter. We're going to enter in from the front as well. Copy, we're moving. Watching upper. Yep. Just Upper's clear. Left. Yep. Flipping. Clear left. Looks clear right. Continue Got clear point. left. Yep. That one I'm pointing at now. Frost, you want rear team to take the top level and you guys take the ground level? Go for it. Roger, we're moving. Just has to try across. Alright, with you. Copy. One left, clear, staircase. Yep. We are in central, be advised, making way back downtown. Briggs, still need you up here, mate. Just checking these doors, mate. Mm hmm. Nothing on that one.
Now we're clear. Let's just push back down, mate. Mm-hmm. Oh. This one in question then, yeah, Frost. Mm -hmm. Um it's the one that Briggs pointed out to me. Right, okay. Okay. Blue coming in. Check the door. Um we also have watch it. We don't know which side mm -hmm. he's coming in at. Yep. Um check the door. Um, we also have notes that there is a key under the flower pot back your feet. Will. Okay. <clears throat> right. on. Yep. Um, be advised, I don't believe the person is in their brain yet. I could be wrong, hey, though. Sheriff. My name don't wear it out. thought we were going to use names. I didn't use your name, I just said sheriff. You're a sheriff, that person over there is a sheriff. Sheriff deputy. I'm gonna go with the fact that the door is locked. Yeah. Oh. Yep, that's okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. A1 perimeter team, be advised the immediate courtyard inside the apartment complex is going to be clear. Break, zero unit, you have anything on your side? Still negative. Unlocked. Okay. You and Briggs are going to be the entry guys, unless you want me to go with you. Up to you, mate. I'm I don't want to overcrowd the. I don't want to overcrowd the space. It's a pretty small apartment. Yeah. Okay then. Apartment's pretty small. Will Frost make entry? I'll come in last with the uh, for investigations and uh, uh, inventory purposes. All right. Alright, okay. On you, mate. Or on your word. <laughs> Go for it. Oh god, hello. Ready, boot? DPS warrant serving! Address Department of Public Safety. Anyone in the building, make yourselves known now. I have the door out to the balcony over here. Okay. I'm not seeing anything, anyone in here. This is kind of a bit of a mess, though. Huh. What is that? Uh, smells like flour, but I can't be for sure. Actually, ain't one to the LSD unit. Can you return back outside and help assist your sheriff? He's out there on his own. <laughs> Actually, one Sierra unit in the unit in the alleyway at the back. Be advised, blue coming out through the patio door. Sierra one copies. I'm with you. All right, we're good. Blue it's just literally this. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah. you okay. Miss that mess. <laughs> oh well, what that's why you were in a mess. Yeah. yeah. Whew. No, it's a light response in that. Right. All right, I'm gonna lay, I'm gonna leave you to tear the place apart if you need to. I'm gonna go start. Securing everywhere else. Okay. Awesome. No worries. All right. 
Actuate 101, be advised at your discretion, if you feel you are okay to deactivate, you can go ahead and deactivate and come over to the scene. 10 for I'll be en route to the scene. Two one, two of us. I believe I have eyes on two turquoise and colored vehicles there in the alleyway go. between nine zero eight eight and nine zero nine zero. There's nothing threatening Let's so far, but that tearing this thing apart. Yeah. Hey, firm, got eyes. Yeah. I'm just... All right. I got these two doors here on the left. Saying no enter. Guy needs to take English class again. X-ray one update on those out vehicles in the alleyway. Be advised, times four. I'm thinking that particular one means outside apartments. I think there's a misunderstanding uh, there. If you get my drift. Yeah, no, I, I got you. Are you talking about uh, that alleyway where the dumpsters at? Uh, actually, no. Hang on. A that, firm down towards line. 9087. Yeah, since area. Do you want me to open them, or do you want me just to take photos of it first? Um, open them slowly, let me tack up with you. Alright. On your count. Yeah, stand by. I don't want to commit through, mate. I'm just going to... Open it slightly and see if we trigger anything first. Uh, yeah. Checking wires. No, yeah. <laughs> Seems there's no one in here by the looks of it. X ray one, X ray sixteen, if I could have you join four nine nine in the back alleys covering there. Charlie one interior of this apartment. Uh, we've got two SMGs and three pistols in one room, and a couple of bricks of an unknown substance at this moment in time, believed to possibly be cocaine. 10-4, be advised, we're starting to get some stairs out here on the street, inside, uh, on, on the street. Good copy. 320, that's going to be the same traffic through the windows on the inside of the compound. Got some people staring from the windows. Don't, don't raise a gun. Three hours out to be advised, all the courtyards down here are clear on the uh, 9087, 9088 side. One sixteen. Any movement in that back alley where that MRAP is parked? Checking now. Holy shit! That's a lot of guns. Yep. Yeah. X-ray six. I'm not seeing any movement from the park area along with the alleyway. Good copy.
thought I did this. So I'll be advised, we're in the second room. Here's to have been abandoned or left undisturbed. Um, I've got evidence of more drugs. Um, however, there's no farms that have been found so far. I uh, was still searching this room. Our bombs already been there. Copy break eight one actually eight one fire unit to you guys clear. You guys green. Dead work guys, standing by. I'm gonna slowly open this box. Yeah go. Yeah go for it. One on one's four eighty one. Send it. If I was the second room looks like someone beat us to it, we've got a uh, trap here. Looks to be a flower bomb that's already been activated for this second room. We're going to be investigating this box that's been left in the room. Roger. A lot of drugs and guns they get to go through, right? Sounds like a sounds like a right Friday night. Honestly, God, I hope this leads to something more. So do I. The ATF could use a good job, to be fair. <laughs> right. What we do. Ah, the joys of police work. Oh, God damn it. Fuck sakes. You green? <laughs> I am now. <laughs> X ray 16 interior units, Calgary. Yes, yes. <clears throat> Just a confetti by the looks of it. Yep. Wonderful. 10 4. Hopefully, that's not a way of them marking the next murder. Hey, 44, 101, you need anything? Yeah, yeah that's a right now. Alright. I bet you're loving the popularity through these windows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Your new, new person doesn't seem to like it too much. Leave that alone for the time being. Alright. Let's do, go outside. Yeah, I'll get I'll get just a little fucking crowbar from Screamer and detonate that myself later. Okay. Yeah. Alright, front door. Yep. Blue exiting. One on one yep. and one forty four coming out. Hey guys. Hey. Uh, right. Uh, there's still some unexploded confetti in there, so I'm gonna quickly get a crowbar from Screamer and uh, get that sorted out. <laughs> yep, Mark um, Rubber Sash House. Right. Mm -hmm. Other than that, we've got. Oh. Right, we've got. Right. <laughs> right. 
We've got the first room. Eh? What the fuck? Okay, you know oh, what? Oh, now you're, now you're both covered in it. Mm-hmm. Right. That first room we had two SMGs and three pistols and a couple of bricks of what I think is cocaine. The second mm -hmm. room... Um, oh, yeah, and there was a... I think that was the room with a bag load of guns, or was that the second room? I'm listening. Uh, the the way. main room here uh, I, mm -hmm. is where the bag rooms are. So right when you open this door on the bed right there, or on the uh, couch is like four or five bags full of guns. Everything green out here? And then the one bedroom um, had the cocaine, two SMGs, three pistols. I believe it's cocaine. And then uh, room number four, or room number three was the... Uh, <sighs> confetti box yeah what what the two confetti boxes that are that are that their contents are now all over your uniforms yes great all right all right let's uh bag and tag then and yep. bring it out of here all uh, any arrest made out here no nope. nothing they're okay. all keeping it they're all keeping distance just kind of staring watching all right, cool all weapons, drugs from this apartment will get bagged and tagged, and then we'll put it into the M wrap out back, and then get okay. start getting people out of here. You safely. taking selfies right now? <laughs> what the hell is oh, wrong with like green glitter in your uniform. Like <laughs> um, Asshole. They'll all go back to DPS HQ so I can sort through each individual gun, bullet, oh. yep. whether it's shot, painted, serial number scratched off. Yep, that's one. I got a plethora of work to do. Oh, yes, you do. Gonna be fun. Alright, um, do we want to break the cordon down and reduce it to just, just this courtyard, or...? I think uh, we should be good there, I think. Yeah, we can do, I guess. Uh, we try and get people cleared out of the out of here, yeah. but somewhere close, still. You could, uh... Well, we're gonna need the van to load all the guns and stuff into anyway, so... Oh, he's putting those into the MRAP right I'm put I'm putting it all in the MRAP. Oh, okay. Yeah. Never mind then. So, so if I get attacked on the way, at least I'm armored. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. Other than that, I think uh, fire can clear from where they're at. And, uh... Ugh, fuck's sakes. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, alright. I'm going to start off. breaking this down. Yeah. Might even be able to clear off a couple of LEOs so they can get patrolling. Yeah, definitely. Actually, one, two, fire units, you hey, guys uh, are clear to stand down. We're trying to quarter break traffic units. You guys are going to be clear out. to open up no, the no. road. Okay. I'm going to be moving Titan right, out of the way here. I'm going to uh, one for copies. Frost, I'm going to get scream and back to one to one copies. Yeah. Medic 5. Standing down, we're going to be returned to quarters. Uh, X-ray one to the units that are at the back of the apartment complex. You guys are clear to break down your operation. You can guys can go back out patrolling the same traffic for the uh, traffic control. Try the one up again. Scream one back to base. Clear one, your best egress point is going to be to the left. Stream one is uh, back at base. Tango X Rear One Four Nine, show me ten six and route back to DPS HQ. And one forty four and route DPS HQ go three. Reset the walk style because, yeah. Okay. 
300 Central, show myself 328 attached car one. Out of DPS headquarters. Were you waiting to talk to me? No, no, just waiting for you guys. Incoming nine one one. Um, incoming We did have a female approach us. Uh, appro uh, Car one shows their interest. Oh really? Tango Alpha one four nine shows for responding. What's yeah. that call? A gang activity. It looks like a fight between gang members. Tell me. Okay. Yeah, gunshots report. Oh, gunshots report in the area. Seems like a few gang members are fighting too. Mm. Bro, I can't even go to that. Yeah, it's alright. I'll do. I'll deal with it. Yeah, we had a white, a mixed race female, white tank top, brown Nine, hair, black pants, black five, shoes, so green peak, bandana. Uh, peaked peaked their interest when we were leaving the apartment. Hang on, go with the description again. Slower. Mixed race, female, white tank yeah. top, black pants, black shoes, brown hair, green bandana. Okay, no worries. Leave it with me. Alright, uh, I'm heading off, so I was literally only here to help you guys with the op. I have okay. personal things that I gotta do. No, you're fine, mate. No problem. Uh, alrighty, stay safe. Try not to die, please. Yeah, no Work. worries. You too. In a bit, mate. Alright, see ya. Three hundred. We got one booking it out behind uh, nine zero eight five on foot. It's gonna be a uh, number one female. Got a white tank top, green pants. Tango Alpha one four nine. You said out the back, correct? Yeah, Jeff. Where we got her? She's running down into the uh, sewer system. All right, 300, it's gonna be a foot pursuit. We're gonna be behind 9085 in the uh, city river here, going down the hill. Uh, there, there, stand by. User disconnected from your channel. Charlie 1 to 1, do you want Moti next down the road for maneuverability on active? Tango Alpha 1 for 9, we've got him stopped. Huh? I can't hear you that well. Devil! Charlie, one to one, show me out motor ten twelve with four nine nine. Three hundred central. Can you uh, have a unit check uh, nine zero eight four? That's where the gunshots came from. Charlie, one, I'll check nine zero eight four.
300. Go for 300. We advised I found an empty magazine and a green bandana at the courtyard of 9084. I'll be uh, bagging them and tagging them. 10 4. 144 101. Send it, Bricks. You say a green bandana and a magazine, like a gun magazine? Yes, yes. 10 4 300 is okay with it. We can add it to the evidence that's here. Yeah, 300, that's fine. Yeah, I could copy on that part, so. Medic 52101. Here, let's make the tie. Go ahead. Is there any wounded at your location? Negative, not that I could say. 10 4, we're going to be standing down by the five back and quarters. Six on this. Charlie, one to three hundred. Are you still on the uh, storm drains? Are you making your way back to your cars? Yeah, three hundred. We're making our way back to car one. Coffee, I'll meet you back up there. Man, guys. You do have your radio turned on, right? Okay. Because yeah, I believe field clarity is around here, so. This is 9085 here, 9084. 
<sighs> Look at all serious over here. <laughs> well, it's a crack with your guy. Fire for the portion we can do one now. Fight Mike. What was the crack with the guy you stopped in the storm train? Uh, the young lady, she was just said she running because she was scared. And, uh, new guy, he was just talking himself in a circle, so we just go ahead and ended it. Okay. Fair enough. 328 to units that responded to the call at 9084. Did anybody find shell casings? I told him yes. <laughs> well, you found a magazine. Shelly one negative. All I found was an empty magazine and the green bandana at 9084. Copy, thank you. Yeah. Three hundred code zero. Uh oh. Uh, did anybody check cameras around the area? No, not the line on line. Okay. I'm just gonna look and see if there's any cameras that are linked to our system here. I'll be Swiss honest, Bar mate, you'll be looking we'll to get any cameras that are working in this area, to be honest. Right. Uh, I'll just give it a shot. You can give it a shot, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, not this time. Three hundred central. I'm gonna restart my brain. I'll be right back. <laughs> User disconnected from your channel. There's any cameras? I'm gonna go 10 6 and go write this report and wait for the sheriff. Alright, mate, no worries. Uh, Just, um, yeah, nice. make sure you relocate to somewhere in the public eye or safe location, plus. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the Davis station. Yeah, good call. Alright, mate. Thank you guys for your help. No worries, Pengu. No problem. Alright. <sighs> Proper roll out of Berlin. Sounds good. Barry, by the way. Alright, sorry. 328, call the code for it. 9084 will be 106, Davis Station.
think I might just head back to DPS HQ and get kitted back out in my uh, PATF clobber, I think. User joined your channel. Incoming 911. Incoming 911. Probably 144. I'll be in route to it to the latest. So the one's going to be sending traffic. Charlie wants Bravo 144 if you want to take that entrance, I'll take the forum drive entrance. Check for we've got at least a half a dozen cars sitting here. Incoming 911. Incoming 911. I'm going to you need assistance of that. Yeah, Charlie one, throw me at least two to three additional units, please. Four six now be routing from eight thousand six. Good copy, thank you. Charlie wants Bravo one forty four. Just uh, for obvious reason, keep line of sight or line of fire rather. Yeah, yeah, for. Thank you for one point nine. I'm literally two minutes away. I'll be there. Four six, and if there's any other closer units that's able to route, do so. I'll step back, but until otherwise noted, I'll continue my route. Thank God for 1.9, I'm on scene. Mike Charlie, 121 and 499, show some route, although I believe we might be further than you. Yeah, Charlie one just got concerns that is down an alleyway. Looks like some sort of car, mate. Looks like all the vehicles are unoccupied, though. Tango Alpha 149, I've got that same individual on the roof, just behind you, 144. Charlie one, I've got eyes on him. Mate, do you want to come down here, please, safely? 300 Satchel, where am I headed to? 300, we're gonna be 9087. We got, uh, looks like a car meet, gang meet going on here. 104 Route 2. Route 46 in an area to the tunnel, okay. Alright, appreciate it, mate. Right, what's your name, please? Four six things I've seen. What do you mean you don't know? Right, do you mind taking your mask off for me real quick? You got any idea on you? I don't have to take a ball. Well, actually, if I'm asking you to. Just I don't feel comfortable taking a phone. Why not? Because I don't know. Okay, well, do you have any ID on you? Mm-hmm. 
Alright, well, can't I haven't done place. anything wrong, though. Doesn't matter. I'm requesting you to identify yourself. It's an offence if you fail to identify to a law enforcement officer when requested to do so. Mm -hmm. At this moment, all we need to know is who you are. You haven't necessarily done anything wrong. We just had a, a report. Force mission responding units. Area. You can go in and sub it down to reduce code two. And um, what's this mission? If you don't find me asking. I'll be honest. I suspect it's something to do with the amount of cars in the alleyway, but. Given the area, it would seem quite normal to me, but still, someone's quite concerned about it. We have to answer the, we have to answer the call, I'm afraid. Uh, there's a disappearing tan guy over there. Okay. Have you got your ID uh, on you? My child of 1023. Yeah. Okay, so can I'm I see your ID, please? I'm just concerned about the disappearing tan guy over there behind you. Yeah, I'm not that concerned about it. I'm just concerned about your ID at the minute, so... When you produce that, we'll be out your way. Mm -hmm. Lopez. I'm sorry? Lopez. Okay. Is that your first name, last name? My last name. Okay, so what's your first name, Miss Lopez? Valentino. Okay. Valentino, whatever you want to fucking call me. Alright, thank you. Alright, just sit tight, please. Um, Barry, take your run in the uh, background. Hey, Sam. Alright. Uh, how, come, how come you got all these vehicles here, please, Miss Lopez? <laughs> these aren't mine. Okay. You know, I can't drive. Okay. <laughs> Do you know anything to do with them? I'm 17, so I can't drive. Do you know anything to do with them? Why they're all parked out here or anything like that? Probably because that we just saw a lot of cops and we're having a fucking meeting or some shit. Okay, that's fair enough. Nothing wrong with that. Because we want to know what the fuck y'all were doing down here. <laughs> you know, the bad part is, is everyone oh, should nine. be towed. Oh. Go ahead, Stevens. Valentina Lopez, uh, 17th of December 2003, seven, age 17, female, height is going to be 5'6", and going to be clean for... Huh. You just said you were 17, right? That's mm -hmm. just safe. What year were you born? Two thousand three, I think. Okay, you're born two thousand three, and this year is twenty twenty three. You'd be twenty. I'm so um, glad you could do the bad for the person I was asking for him. According to my brain, I'm not. If that right. makes any sense. Have you got a driving right. license or ID card on you? Anything like that that I can see and check real quick, please. Because at the moment, our systems are saying you were born of this year. What? It yeah. Made to be a DMV, yeah. No, two thousand and three. Yeah. No, no she was born two thousand and three. Oh, okay. This year is twenty twenty three, which would right. make her either nineteen or twenty. Yeah. Um, unless. Something's wrong with the thing, I don't know. Okay. Because yeah, from my brain, it's saying. From my brain, I'm 18. Yeah, I'll be down here to pick up the chat. Right, so you told me you're 17, and yeah, actually now you're 18. <clears throat> we still wouldn't add up to a date of birth of the year 2003. I'm going to get my parking ticket book. Okay, Bruce. Right, uh. Tommy, Sam, and Grim, if I can have you guys just start running plates on all these vehicles, please. I want to find out who they're registered to, if they're registered to anyone. If they're not, right. then County Toe is going to have one hell of a paycheck. Grim, do you want to go head over and grab a tablet? I'll speak to you through headsets, read you the plates. I uh, can do it. Maybe. You can yeah, that works too. You can have got the app on it. Ah, no, it's good. I'll, I'll use my phone. Alright, Miss Hockley, do you have an ID card or a drive? Miss Hockley, god damn it. Miss Lopez, do you have a 
driving license, like an ID card or anything like that that I can actually physically check real quick, please? Uh, I don't. Okay. Not on me. Okay. Is it at home or anything like that? It's literally in my apartment. Okay, which... No return car one. Which apartment it's is yours? literally this one. Okay. The one that I was sitting on. Right, okay. Um... Uh, Riggs? Yeah, sir. Alright, actually, in fact... No, you stay out of Riggs. Tell me. No return car, too. Yeah. Right, if myself and Lieutenant Thomas here come in with you to your apartment just so you can prove your ID and then hopefully we can get your ID sorted. Okay. At the yeah. minute, we're having a discrepancy with the MV again. Yeah, I've got no return on any of the ones I've run. Can you not come up behind me, please? He's just, just doing, doing my it. job. Yeah, he's just. I just, just don't like people behind me. Okay, well, let us know next time and we'll. We'll be respectful of your space. I'm just doing my parking none tickets. Yeah, right. no, wait, wait. Mr. Yeah, Lopez, if you please, all of them are um, if you take us to your apartment and show like you've got some ID there, and we can verify this whole mess, please. Try the one show myself and 416. We're going to be accompanying Miss Lopez into her apartment to see if we can verify some sort of ID on her. I don't know why I went over there, but no. Right, Charlie, one to one. Show all green vehicles on scene returning as unregistered, including one without a plate. Copy. Send them to County Tie. Six county toes to nine zero eight seven the six illegally parked vehicles. This is your apartment, mm -hmm. Miss Lopez. I'm just getting a lot of emails right now, so I'm gonna look at them too. Okay. Well, if you can respond to them later and then we'll get your ID verified yeah, first. Okay. Show myself three two eight in vehicle three seven zero. Sorry, what was your name, please? What was your first name again, please, Miss Lopez? Valentino. Valentino. Valentino fucking hell. Okay. Yeah. Alright, no worries. Storm. 
We're going to be in the 9089 courtyard on the second floor outside apartment 16 at this time. Right above your box. Oh, there you are. What's up? Uh, just waiting on county tow. Alright, up he does. Just trying to verify yep. the uh, age and date of birth on this ID at the minute, but uh, it, it, like, it looks smudged or something like that, so give me a minute. If you're good, I think I'm going to go ahead and send uh, these three on their way. Yeah, no worries, mate. Okay. <laughs> right. All right, Miss Lopez, we're going to have to bring you in, I'm afraid, because we're going to have to do some further questioning surrounding your identity, because there is no way with the date of birth of 2003 that you're 17 years old, I'm afraid. So either this is a false ID and you're not telling us straight or something's gone seriously wrong. But either way, we're going to need to bring you in. My parents helped me with my ID, so... Say again, know. sorry. My parents Double ended up helping me with it. They the didn't know what to do. Right, okay. Right, let's go back down to my car and we'll uh, get this figured out. into this mate. My Durango, please. Yep, you guys are fine. Just keep going. Take them all. <clears throat> right. If you got anything on your persons, I need to know about anything that any drugs, no. guns, nothing like that. Okay. Right. Um, gonna give you your opportunity now. If you got anything on your person, just put it on the head of my Durango, please, because at this point we're gonna be taking you in. I literally don't have anything. Okay. I can empty my fucking pockets if fucking need it. Yeah, that's fine. Just empty your pockets out to show me that there's nothing in, then I'll be happy with that. Miss Lopez, um, right. Now, I'm not going to handcuff you, seeing as you're not got anything dangerous on you or anything like that. Just do me a favour, come to my vehicle, step in for me. Go ahead, step in for me. Okay, Miss Lopez, at this time you're not being charged with anything, however, we are going to be placing you on a 48 hour hold while we uh, make further inquiries to ascertain your ID, okay? Um, according to the date of birth, you should be 19 and you're telling me that you're 17, so either your age is wrong or your date of birth is wrong, okay, on the DMV systems and also on your ID. Um, so, in regards to that, um, again, you're not being charged with anything, mm. however, at this moment in time, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, it will not be provided to you by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand your rights as I've read them to mm. you? Okay. My, mine and my mother's brain might have just come proof when she was doing that. Does that make any sense? I'm sorry, say, this say is, that again? She, my mother decided to help me with my ID because I rarely go out. Okay. 
because she rarely interrupts me. So that's okay. yeah. Our brains might have just gone through. Okay. Like I say, um, what we'll do, we'll take it down to stage, we'll get it further verified, and then from there, depending on what DMV say, we will get, you know, we can either release you or hold you further, okay? Okay, happy days. Alright. Briggs, I'm going to be bringing one in to uh, verify their ID. No charges at this time. Uh, yeah. I just did local forms for all six of those, because unregistered. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Do, me a do me a favor. I know it's going to be a pain in the ass. If you, if you do do actual forms for them, please, mate, just because if they are unregistered, if they crop up again, then we've got some sort of background to them. Or are they not? Uh, they're not actively. Are they not actually registered. in the system? Yeah, right. Uh, right, okay. Um, just do me a basic instant report then. Don't even worry about inputting vehicle or person details. Just say that these vehicles with these plates were towed from this location because they were unregistered. Okay. Look it. Alright, mate. Thank you. Yep. Just so we've got someone on file, mate. Alright, Tommy, thank you for your help, mate. Um, no problem. Yeah, we'll be good to clear here, mate. I'm gonna go back and sit on a pier. Yeah, right. They were registered to my local body. They were. They were registered to what, sorry? Local body is. Okay. No, that's fine. Um, well, they'll have to pick them up anyways, being illegally parked, so, yeah. I mean, it's a private alleyway, so. Even still, it, well, it's not a private alleyway. Public have access to it, so technically it's a public road. Still yeah, for, public pub, road for the apartments. I mean, yes, but again, and because we were public, all in their apartments. I know, and I get that, but again, because it's all public access road, then this because it is a throughway, it does have to be accessible. It, you were blocking a throughway. From the signs on them fences, it says private, at least from what I remember. I couldn't see any private signs when I was just there a minute ago. I didn't see any anyways. Which other one I'm going to be code 4106, be transporting 112 SSD East Davis Station, 11015. was this you were saying earlier about obviously your mum having possession of your ID or something like that? No, she helped me with it because I didn't know what to do. Okay, well so she talked so, to the DMV and everything like that, she handled that side of it or? Yeah. Okay. Um, right, well. Unless she put my uh, sister's ID in by accident or some shit, I don't fucking know. Uh, I have family, but they're not in state right now. Oh, okay. No, that's not an issue. And both of us are named... Well, one of us is named Valentina, one of us is named Valentina. Okay. That's why... Yeah. No, she that's... probably got confused. Yeah, no, that's absolutely fine. I mean, it happens, but again, we I've will have I've never to... had that this issue, though. Would it? Okay. Well, like I say, we'll talk to the DMV about it. Um, Tango Alpha and go from there. call signs of Tango Mike 149. Mike Charlie 121, show Mike Alpha 149 attaching to our 1012. We're going to be known as Mike Delta 1 for convenience. Alright, Miss Lopez, hop out for me. Alright, just follow me. I cannot see anything. No? Alright, do you want me to help you? 
No, it's just uh, my brain having a moment that's at me from the sun. I'm with you. I don't no, think fine. I've, um, I don't think I've, um... Bane have a fall? Mm-hmm. Okay, don't it's worry. It's just taking a minute to, you know... That's fine. My brain to comprehend this building. 144 to 300. No, you're absolutely fine. Go for 300. User left your channel. You know who the uh, maker of the fraction is? The faction? From... Okay. I believe it's from Ponte. Mm-hmm. Charlie it's one still negative. It's gonna be Willard. But... Ah, you'll be alright. Yeah, Charlie one should be a Willard faction. Time for Willard, William, Ida, Lincoln, Lincoln, Adam, Robert, David. Yes, yes. Uh, right, you can either have that one a holding cell or you can have one with a bed at least where you can stay comfy seeing as the cells are empty for now. Yes, that's one. Yeah. Alright, take your pick. Yeah, go on. Hop in then. Nice one. Happy days. Cool. Alright, Miss Lopez, uh, like I say, you're being placed on a hold at the minute, no charges, but we do need to clear up the DMV issue, okay? Um, once the information comes to light, we know who you are, or, well, more or less how old you are, then uh, you'll be free to go. But at the minute, we have told you, because technically you are in possession of what would appear to be, unfortunately, a fraudulent document. Like I say, though, no charges will be... Uh, be getting brought to you about that due to the circumstances, okay? Okay. Alright, if you need anything, Custody Sarge will be da back with you here shortly, okay? And DOC should be hopefully here to pick you up in, well, in the morning, okay? Anything you need from me before I go? Mm -hmm. No? Okay, you have a good night. Try to get some sleep. Charlie one's back tonight. Ten four got you back tonight.
I'm going to swap my vehicles out, I think. I'm also going to swap my uniform out. There is a moth in my room. That is irritating us. All hell. I'm thinking we're gonna get the buffalo out, guys. What do we want to do, the scout? Oh, you know what? Yes, we want to do the scout. Sankam 144, gonna be out on a 1011, I mean 9049 Strawberry Avenue. We have a bicyclist, heavyweight, uh, no 32s at this time. 10 4, is it um, Taco again? Indeed it is. Alright, car 37, we're gonna head over there because I wanna yell at him now. I really want to see that. What was the uh, 20 again there? 144. 9071. We, we got a squirrely one here. Careful. It takes four law enforcement. Got one 500 pound guy. Uh, yeah. Nah, actually, it just takes one excavator. Ooh. <laughs> Ritz got wit. <laughs> No, I just came down to make sure you're all right. We're going to go ahead and break off, though. Have yourself a good one there, Taco. Yes, sir. Have a good one, sir. You too. 
Why do you want to yell at him, Ty Tower? Uh, last time we had an interaction with him, he was he's overexerting himself on the exercise. He rode his bike down from Hawick down to here, so. Oh yeah. All right, Miss Taco. This Bad is what, this is what I'm gonna give you. All right, I'm gonna cut you a break. Ripping right now. Just you you're trying to get yourself in better shit condition, try to do better. I just don't want him to keel over again. That's all. Yeah, no, definitely not. Easy on it. Harwick down here is quite a little bit of a distance. Oh, damn. But, your hey, you are looking feel pretty good, bad, Hightower, not going to lie. Go. Do what now? Is Roger your bike safe? Your scout's looking pretty good, ride not going to lie. Oh, yeah. Make sure you're stopping at all yeah. red lights. Uh, not going to lie, I wish my scout had you have to follow the, the same one, the as all traffic. Light ones. modules in the headlights, okay, but now nah, well. Yes, sir. Not the end of the world. That is what it is. Just, just, just yeah, it certainly purple. is. You know, ride safe, make sure you, uh... uh pretty slow one tonight. Car 370 back, back to me. Alright, you take care of yourself, mate. Pretty right. slow yep, one tonight. Yeah, you too. Don't want about your day. Yeah, you had to go and say that word, didn't you? I said slow, not the other word. Ah, oh, crap. 144 is gonna be 10 8 off this traffic stop, point 4. Really? Really? I said slow. Not the other oh. one. Okay. I'll go come over here and put my finger down your throat. Uh, uh careful, I might like that. <laughs> exactly. Right. There go the neighborhood. Do what there, uh, thank you. I I'll say what? Don't fight. Yeah, I just, I just work here. Sections in area home scene. Four sixteen, we're just gonna be right on the intersection of the fire station, Plato Pillbox Medical and uh Dashman Station. Hey, bro, can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, Pablo, what have you done, mate? That wall breaks and break hit wall. Okay, so you haven't overexert yourself, it's just you've hit a wall, is it? Hit the wall and fell down. Okay, no worries. Where's it hurt the most, mate? My, my, uh, my head, neck. Your head and your neck. I think they hit first. Charlie won't be advised. Pablo's complaining of head and neck injuries. Can we start critical care if possible? Uh, from, well, literally across the street at this point. That pillbox. Fires are gonna come across the street to pick up them and then go right across the street again. Yeah, literally. Quickest response time ever. <laughs> Actually, I think they've seen that happen because the doors are opening and I see lights already. Yeah, there you go then. Alright, uh, Pablo. Looks like medics actually saw you hit the wall, mate, so. They'll be coming to help you out here shortly, okay? Yeah, Tommy, can you do me a favor? Just uh, see if we can put. See if we can roll him over and get a C collar applied, please. Just maintaining the head. Dispatch, medic 5 will be in route. Critical care is going to be on the transport. Alright, I got to notice final deformities. Alright. Medic 5, good copy. Alright, let's roll them over on Swiss back. Alright, 
I got that. Head. Move as that right, postal three, one more time, please. Two, one, and roll. Charlie 1, it's going to be 8042 Shawbury and Integrity Way. Do you want to stay on anything, sir, or do you want to back tonight? Uh, you guys can go back tonight if you want to, lads. Damn, it should be alright. 10 for Shawbury and Integrity, 8042. Just clearing back tonight off that last call. Hmm, what do we got? Pablo Taco! Shut up, Steven. Oh, that works. Do I know you? Oh, Pablo, I'm sure you know me. I've been in the hospital, kind of ER work on you a couple of times. All right, Pablo. What happened, bud? No brakes. Hit wall. I think I broke my bike. As long as you didn't break yourself, that's the main thing, mate. It's got to be a bit uncomfortable, mate, but this, uh, this will basically help you from, uh, prevent you from getting any further injuries, mate. Also, Chief, he doesn't have any spinal deformities. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, not too long ago, picked up an ER shift and he came in on a heart attack. Oh, fun. Yeah. Trying to do exercise. Where are you hurting there, Pablo? Uh, I think I hit my head or my neck or my chin. Or... That's all that's hurting on you? Yeah. And... And... Yeah. All right. <clears throat> We're just gonna you get your seat collared. We're gonna put you up on the cot, get you into the ambulance, and literally go across the street. Okay. All right. Where's Frank's here to help. Like I got you two to help lift. Yep. Oh. If anything starts hurting as we're starting to move you, you say something. Understand, Pablo? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try to avoid backboarding you if I can. You look like a cop I just ran into. I... I do? Yeah. Uh, my cousin must be out running around tonight. Yeah, he was. Mm. I think he's on his lunch break right now. <laughs> Badass. Yeah, no kidding. I are you ready? All right, on count of three, we're going to stand you up to your feet. You're going to just go turn and sit down on the cot right behind uh, the director right there. Mm. Okay, folks. Don't sit on me. That's the main thing. Mm -mm. Alright, you ready? Mm -hmm. One. Car 370 show us chapter 10 alpha. Three, here we go. Holy shit. Oh. 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 <laughs> Did you just fart, Tommy? <laughs> I don't even know what that was. Uh, Sounds like you, you losing the contents of your bowels, mate. Hey, lizard. <sighs> Holy crap. Alright. Uh, 
over to the ambulance. Okay. Frank, you good? There we go. In and there. Bring this guy there, right? Alright, Frank, I'm gonna pinch one of your seat colors real quick. Yeah, that's fine. Cheers, Mike. Uh, never mind. I mean, I need to get back in the gym. Shit, right? 25 loaded, one patient, pillbox medical. I take the report. If you want to. Um, I'm just going to carry his bike over to the pillbox. Yeah. Alright. But. Car 370 Central show us uh, signal 66180. 46MB clear off the pedestrian new via back tonight. Tango 49106 Davis Station. Tango 49 disbanding his motor, you know, be remaining his traffic over. Mike Dell 1, Chase disbanded, Chemi Change Call, send back Tango Charlie 121.